Hey, hey, are you curious about the Windsor Essex County real estate market? Then this video is for you. I'm going to share with you the recap for the month of September for Windsor Essex County. Make sure you stick around to the end to find out what it means to you if you're thinking of buying or selling a home in Windsor Essex County. My name is Chris Pramatar. I'm a local real estate server in Windsor Essex County. We have helped many families in our local area as well as many families relocating to Windsor Essex County. Each week, we bring you the latest real estate market update for Windsor Essex County. We don't do a generic graphic static post. We break down the data in a simple format for you to understand. We share the latest info as to what's happening here locally, as well as the real journey what some of my clients are experiencing. We're all about providing value and educating you and your family so you can make a very informed decision moving forward if you're thinking of buying or you're just curious about a real estate market in Windsor Essex County. Here is the residential market recap for the month of September. Listings are up by 6.26% or 46 homes. In September 2023, there were 950 homes listed on MLS as compared to 894 homes in September 2022. Sales are down by almost 16% or 67 homes. In September 2023, there were 353 homes sold as compared to 420 homes sold in September 2022. The average sale price is up by 3.05% in September 2023. The average sale price is almost $537,000 as compared to just over $521,000 in September 2022. That's an increase of $16,000 in value. Median sale price is up 4.79% in September 2023. The median sale price is almost $504,000 as compared to $480,000 in September 2022. That's an increase of $24,000 in value. If you're finding value in this video, give us a like. It really makes a huge difference. If you want to stay in the loop, you can subscribe to our newsletter. We bring you all our latest real estate data as well as local events and business spotlight. You may want to check your spam or junk mail. This is the number of homes being listed on MLS this year. From January to June, there was an upward trend of more homes being listed. From July to September, we saw a downward trend. Less homes being listed on MLS. This graph illustrates the number of sales from January to September. Each month sale increased up until May. From June to September, we saw three months of decline in the numbers home being sold. In this graph, at the start of this year for residential homes, we're seeing a continuous upward trend in home prices in Windsor Essex County. Average sale price in January was in the low of 500,000, going as high as $602,000 in May. From June to September, prices started to trend downwards. At the moment, the average sale price is almost $540,000. This graph, this is the first time I'm sharing this info this is the list price to close price ratio in percentages meaning that if a home was listed at five hundred thousand dollars in january it would have sold at 98 percent of list price or four hundred ninety thousand dollars in june the same home sold for nine percent more meaning it would have sold for forty five thousand dollar more than the list price or the total sold price would have been five hundred forty five thousand dollars now in september the same home was selling 4% more are $20,000 over the list price. That's a difference of $25,000 in three months. So we're starting to see the price are coming downwards as based upon the graph. In my opinion, the average sale price will remain in the mid $500,000. Please do your due diligence. This was just an example I used to help you understand what is happening in our local market. Each home, location, and price point will be different they're not all the same this was just an example like i stated here's our year-to-date market data listings are down by 14.86 or 1441 homes we had 8254 homes were listed on mls as compared to 9695 homes listed in the same time in 2022 sales are down by 18.52 percent or 892 homes in september 2023 there were 3,925 homes sold as compared to 4,817 homes sold in September 2022. Average sale price is just over $564,000 as compared to almost $637,000 in 2022. That's down by 11.37% or $73,000 in value. Median sale price is just over $519,000 as compared to $580,000 in 2022. That's down by 10.47% or $61,000 in value. I know, I know, I may sound like a broken record, but I will keep sharing what I'm seeing on local market. As a buyer, here's what to expect in the current market. Some home and condos are still getting preemptive, also known as a bully offer, but 
not as often as before. They are still receiving unconditional offers, meaning the buyer are waiving the home inspection or mortgage financing conditions. Are still selling above list price for the most part, sometimes under list price, sometimes are not getting a lot of showings. Factor cause in this can be the condition of the property, it needs updating, renovation, the location is not ideal for the buyer and the price is too high. Many home and condos are still having offer dates, may not get a lot of offers, sometimes they may not even get an offer. They're often relisted at a higher price. This is more of a reflection of what the seller wants for their home. Sometimes their home may sit on the market for a long time. They may take the home off the market or they may just be patient, wait it out, and sometimes the home will sell under the new list price. The homeowner may accept the offer if the terms and price are favorable to them. Just remember there are definitely opportunity for everyone out there. It all depends on you and your family situation and each of your situation will be unique. As a home or condo owner looking to sell your home, you must, and I'm gonna stress, must be realistic with your price expectations. Be very, very patient. You can expect your home to sell, but it varies. It can be quick or it may take some time. Sometimes may not even sell at all. The low price home and condos appear to be more in demand. You may receive offers that may include the following conditions, mortgage financing condition, a home inspection condition, and sometimes a house to sell condition. Remember the key to a successful sale is to have your home ready, have it cleaned, have it decluttered, have it painted if needed, do any needed repairs and touch-ups, have great curb appeal, use professional services such as a realtor, a stager if you need it, a photographer, a videographer, etc. Make sure your home is marketed across all mediums, especially on social media with paid ads. This should be done by your agent. Price right, meaning not too high, but at a price where it will attract a lot of potential buyers and interests, and possibly resulting in you getting more than one offer at a price and terms you will be happy with. Hire a good, knowledgeable, honest, hardworking local agent a proven track record is great at marketing your property is a good negotiator and who will tell you the truth and have you and your family's best interest at heart personally i feel a windsor ss county real estate market will continue for the following reason we are still affordable as compared to many other cities in ontario and canada many families are moving to our region our local economy have many huge long-term projects home prices are starting to level out and we have more homes seem to be coming into the market, especially from new inventory from builders. And the reason I say builders is because a lot of buyers out there, which I feel for them, uh, bought when interest rate was low and these were pre-construction. Many of these builders did not advertise these homes on MLS. So these buyers thought they were getting a great deal, which they probably did, but the rate went up so quickly in such a short period of time, a lot of them lost their money and my heart goes out to them. And they can't close their home that they bought and now they have to walk away from this home. Sometime they walk away and give up the deposit because they don't wanna to have to go through the legal aspect of it. And sometimes there are legalities out there where lawyers are involved and people are getting sued. So heart goes out to you as a buyer out there. I mean, builders, your house will sell. It's hard for everybody that's involved, builders, buyers, families are being affected. So it's a tough market and the, you know, the rates went up so quickly, a lot of people get affected and hopefully in time the rates stabilize and our economy and housing will be affordable for many of you. Time will tell, I can't predict what's going to happen, but I think when the bank meet in October later this month, I feel the interest rates going to still be the same. They're not going to increase the overnight lending rate. The Bank of Canada will probably, in my opinion, stay put. If you like for us to help you anyway, please contact us or leave a comment below. We'd we'll love to talk to you a little bit about your goals and how we can help you. You take care. Have a great week. Have a great month. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye now. See ya.